But I guess I wonder, you know, when the news pops up, the alert comes on your phone and it, it says, you know, another officer involved situation with a with a black um, person. What is your initial response? Hmm. That's a good question. It, it, I guess because being a police officer for so many years, I've learned to not rush to judgment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I kind of want to hear w- exactly what happened before I make a, you know, an opinion statement on something. And obviously you never know all the facts, you know, cause they, like they say, there's always three sides to a story. Mm-hmm. But, uh, with this day and age with, um, cameras and body cameras and, you know, just surveillance cameras all over, you, you definitely get a better picture than what you used to be able to get, mm-hmm. you know, years ago. I think the first real, uh, camera showing of police brutality was Rodney King, you know, and that it was at that time that police officers recognize uh, that, hey, you know, there's certain things that you just can't do, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, it, when I started in the uh, early 90s, it's a different way of policing than now. And uh, we weren't perfect at all. And, and, you know, and you realize that, I started realizing that later on in my career, the way that you dealt with people or talked to people was important, you know. And uh, I don't particularly take a, a like, I don't, I don't feel bad for myself. It was a culture that I was brought into, not knowing anything about policing at all when I first walked into the academy. You know, everything that I've learned came from police officers. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to take on that culture. Mm-hmm. But it's as you grow uh, and, and the events that you fall into, you, you tend to start recognizing what direction you want to go as a police officer. Do you think being uh, a cop for so long um, and kind of seeing, like you say, the way uh, police departments, police change throughout the course of your career. Do you think that's given you the ability not to kind of give in to the, the almost the urge for like the, just the sudden reaction when, when those headlines come out and you see, you know, everybody goes to Facebook, right? They go to Twitter, they put out their, you know, their, their Twitter threads, their mm-hmm. dissertations, right. And they, and they're, they're reacting. And, and I think, you know, that it's all coming from a very genuine place because there are certain things that we've seen time and, and time again. Mm-hmm. Um, but because, and this is kind of enough for a question because I, I think I already know the answer because these are things we've talked about, but um, ha- has it given you kind of an advantage to know that, okay, this is the headline. I saw a 20 second clip. It looks bad, but chances are, you know, there's another side to it. Do you think if you weren't a cop that you would be able to, no. To kind of have that wait and see approach, or is it because no. of all your experiences that you can? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, that that's. If I wasn't, I, I I understand why people react to react. That that's it's it's totally understandable, and I like to have conversations with people about police incidents, just so that they can maybe you can help shed a light that they may not, or a side that they may not have had the opportunity to see. And I have no problem whatsoever saying that the cop messed up. Yeah. If that's the case, you know, and if, if it's not the case, I can explain to them why it isn't, why I think it isn't. Mm-hmm. At least. So before we get into specific cases, if, if you could make a blanket statement, what is the problem? What, why, mm. why do these things keep, keep, is there a problem? Is it the fact that, you know, we have social media, so it's being put out there. So it seems like it's happening a lot. I guess, you know, like you said, 20, 30 years ago, 
we didn't have access to this. So these things were probably taking place frequently, 100%. but you know, it wasn't on the evening news. It wasn't on our Twitter mm -hmm. feed. It wasn't on Instagram. So is it like, is this just normal? Like, is this what it's, it's no. supposed to be? And we think that it's not, I don't, I don't think it's, it's normal at all. If you think about, um, the number of interactions that police officers have have on a daily basis and with people just and I'm not breaking it down to race but just with people in general there's millions of interactions that police officers across this country have on a daily basis and if we only come up with one incident every six months uh, you, it, that means you you're doing you're not doing that bad of a job but the problem lies is why does the incidents always happen with us mm -hmm. or at least why do we see that and that's that's the conversation that that needs to be had i don't have an answer for that um there's a you know there's there's that very troubling reality that you know black people and especially black men in general are looked at differently mm -hmm. by police officers period whether the police officers white black chinese it just looked at differently and that's comes from the culture of policing and what police officers are told and shown as they ascend their, their, their ranks or, or just their tenure in, in, in policing. And then it, it can also, and it does also come from how you're brought up, mm -hmm. you know, as, as your, your lifestyle, your family. So you're going to have those, uh, I guess, judgments on black men. And uh, that's, the, that's what we want to try to stop. You know, and that's that's I don't think it's a policing problem. I think it's a societal problem. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be able to. Uh, stop that. It's kind of like I use this analogy. If you if. If a tree has. An issue with uh, one of its branches. You decide to now cut that branch off. Is the issue gone? No, it's still in the tree. Mm -hmm. So you can't start with the police department and think that if you just turn it over, those issues are going to go away. Mm -hmm. Now, those those issues are deeply embedded in our society. So it's, it's, it's it starts probably at home mm -hmm. more than anything. But uh, you can help the problem but by restructuring, maybe making some changes in, in, in policing. You can help the problem, but you won't solve the problem or stop the problem. At least that's in my opinion. Yeah. Going through some growing pains. Yeah. None but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey.